The following video will contain a lot of delicious food, so you may not want to watch an empty stomach. Uh, hey everyone, it's Scott, the Scott Man, and we are here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Such a fantastic city, located about 45 miles west of Detroit, and we're here to do a restaurant tour today. Ann Arbor has a lot of great restaurants to check out, and we have to start off here at a very famous location. We're here at the famous Zingerman's Deli. It opened up in 1982, and it is a staple tea here in Ann Arbor. If you have to go to only one restaurant in Ann Arbor, you have to make it Zingerman's. People from all over come here just to get their sandwiches. They're on the expensive side, but they're totally worth it because they use high quality ingredients. So it's great for takeaway or for dining in. So I can't wait to finally get my hands on a sandwich from Zingerman's. I might get one of their Rubens. To order your sandwiches, you can either go online and order by the by, or order by your phone. You can go inside. They got kiosks inside. There's even a kiosk outside as well too. Or you can call in your order. While well, waiting for your sandwich, why not check out the, the grocery inside where you can order some different bread, meats, and cheeses. And as soon as your sandwich is ready, you'll get a text and just head inside the red door and you can pick up your sandwich in there. All right, and after we, we go in to, to pick up the sandwich, once I get a text saying that the order is ready, you can either sit inside or come outside and enjoy a delicious Zingerman's Deli sandwich. I got their number two, the their signature Reuben. And you got a pack full of corned beef, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, and their Russian dressing. Oop, this is what it looks like on the inside. All right, I've been waiting for a very long time to try one of these. No, take a sip. You have water in your mouth. Mmm, mmm. This is amazing. The corned beef is cooked perfectly. Swiss cheese starting to melt a little bit. Great taste of the sauerkraut. And the Russian dressing is amazing. I can see why this is very famous. This is easily probably the best thing you can get in, in, in Ann Arbor. That sounds so good. That was absolutely amazing. That sandwich was so delicious. Great flavors in every bite. And I will warn you, they are big. So <laughs> that sandwich filled me up. I, I didn't even order chips to go with it. I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking for some great food here in Ann Arbor, you have to check out Zingerman's. It is a must stop here in Ann Arbor. But there's some other places in Ann Arbor we'll check out too in this restaurant tour, so don't go anywhere. And here we are at our second location. We're back here in downtown this time. Just a block off Main Street between Main Street and Nashley Street, and we're in our second place, Frita Batinos. It is a Cuban street food restaurant. You got these Cuban street, street food or, or Cuban burgers, which are basically chorizo, but you can get other protein as well. Topped with shoestring fries and an egg bun, or a soft egg bun. Not only that too, but they got these delicious milkshakes called Batitos in there as well. So, we go inside, get something sweet to eat and drink. All right, so I mean, inside, uh, you can get either a table in inside or outside. I wanted to get something outside, but there was not nothing available. <laughs> it's pretty busy here today. But yeah, I'm waiting for my my frita, which is basically like a, a Cuban burger. You can get different type of protein, lower. it's like you get chorizo, chicken. I think there's even like a fish or salmon or something like that. I forgot which ones they have, but different ones you choose from. But while I'm waiting, I got one of their batidos, which is basically a, it's like a, a mix of fresh fruit, ice, and some vanilla bean ice cream. This looks really good. and delicious. They're basically, I think, 
mix of fruit and milkshakes. This is delicious. All right, here it is. Uh, here is the frita chorizo with true stream fries. And a, 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 and for a little bit extra, even got a sunny side up egg. This looks, this looks really good. Also, the tropical slaw with it too. So it's a little bit of a twist on the Scott Man classic. dressing in it, but I like it. Alright, now to dig in. This is getting really messy, especially with that egg. is amazingly delicious. The chorizo is nice and spicy. Of course, the shoe string fries are pretty good too. And the sunny side up, egg, lots of yolk. It's practically melting out of me a little bit, but lots of great flavor. You have to actually either getting a single or a double. I'm glad I got the single. This is gonna be a lot of food. All right, I'll see you back outside once I'm done. That was really good. Like when you have something spicy like that chorizo, again, the potato cools down your taste buds. But yeah, fantastic place. So glad I found it here in Ann Arbor. But there's a, at least one, if not two more great places here in Ann Arbor we're gonna check out here in this restaurant tour. And what's cool is that Ann Ar or in Ann Arbor even has some streets where in the summer they block off the road so that way you can eat in the street too, like back there for example. All right, so stay tuned. here in Ann Arbor and we're here to check out a couple more restaurants before we conclude this restaurant tour. It's a nice thing about living in the metro, in the metro Detroit area is that I can just come from home for day two as if I had to stay at a hotel but that's all right. Anyway so we're here to get some delicious breakfast and we're here at Angelo's located at the corner of Glen and Catherine and Angelo's is famous for their delicious breakfast. It's an Ann Arbor Stable Tea since 1956, and I've heard a lot of great things about their breakfast. As a matter of fact, I, I heard about the restaurant from the song Angelo's by Dick Siegel, who's a, I believe he's from Ann Arbor, if not at least from Michigan, and he has the song called Angelo's. That's how I learned about the restaurant, and it used to be at, back when I used to listen to FM radio, I listen to satellite radio now, but there used to be, they used to play his song Angels at the end of the Over Easy block on 94.7, which is the classic rock station out of the Detroit area. So I've always wanted to come here and get their breakfast. All right, let's go inside and get something good to eat. All right, me inside and just love the, the diner atmosphere in here. And I'm in the mood for Really big breakfast here. So I got some sausage, some breakfast potatoes, two eggs, scrambled. I think I also get like over easy, over medium, etc. Sunny side up. And of course, their famous raisin toast. This looks amazing. Mm. Mm. That's some good stuff. All right. <laughs> the eggs are really good too. Nice and warm. Tastes absolutely perfect. Good potato, potatoes too. All right. Last but not least, I have the sausage. Mmm, mmm. 
very juicy, delicious flavors in the sausage. This is fantastic breakfast. Gotta, gotta love the breakfast here at Angelo's. So the staple tea here in Ann Arbor. All right, I need the rest of those off camera. I'll see you back outside. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. Those scrambled eggs were really good too. Some of the best I, I've had at the, some of the different breakfast restaurants I've been to. But yeah, I can see why everybody likes to go to Angelo's because yeah, great food. I ate a lot of food though, so I'm gonna off camera go for a little walk around Gallup Park because I need a little exercise after that meal. And also because I have to save myself for one more restaurant here. So I'll see you there. And we're here at our fourth and final restaurant here in the Ann Arbor Restaurant Tour. We've covered a lot of great food, but we're gonna conclude here at the Original Cottage Inn, located off Williams Street. We're just to the west of the central campus for the University of Michigan, and the Original Cottage Inn pizza has been around since 1946, and they're known for amazingly delicious pizza. As a matter of fact, uh, I remember my dad was telling me that when he was younger that he, that he used to go there, I think with his, with his parents, so my grandparents a long time ago. So anyway, uh, I can't wait to go inside and get some delicious pizza. And also, I previously filmed a video at the original Cottage Inn, so I'm really glad to go back and include it in this restaurant tour. All right, it's so good to be back inside, and the nice thing about coming to lunch is not too many people here. <laughs> so nice and quiet. Got some good music going, although I have to probably mute it out because of copyright reasons. But anyway, got delicious personal pan pizza with lots of cheese, sausage, and red onion. All right, I already got a slice off camera. I'm gonna take it, take a bite. Mmm. 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 Cheese is really good, great sausage, lots of great flavors in the sausage, and of course the red onion has a nice little tang to it. Amazingly delicious. Going for a pizza place to go to in Ann Arbor, the original Cottage Inn is the place to go. All right, you throw us off camera, I'll see you back outside. That was fantastic pizza. Lots of great flavors in every bite. I almost finished it, but I, I couldn't finish the last slice. But, and that was a personal pizza too, like 10 inches. <laughs> but yeah, really enjoyed my meal in there. Cajun Pizza does have a chain around Metro Detroit, and I think in other parts around Michigan too. Although, for what I've heard, the chain of restaurants aren't nearly as good as the original Cottage Inn. Ann Arbor is home to a lot of great and delicious food. You will not go hungry here in Ann Arbor. Lots of great places to choose from, whether you want some great deli sandwiches from Zingerman's, or if you want some delicious pizza or some breakfast at Angelo's, and of course, even some great international foods here too, like especially that Cuban street food place I went to. Ann Arbor has quite a lot to offer. All right, so uh, thanks for watching this little restaurant tour around Ann Arbor, Michigan. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the, for the adventure. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out here from Ann Arbor, Michigan.